Hey guys, it's Totter, and I'm here with Stephanie, and we're back for day three of CES 2020. And I have to ask you, Stephanie, are you CES ready? You bet I am. I'm ready too, so why don't you guys come with us? So you start with a simple swab, so you get your DNA, that then is registered in this device. The device will help you, when you go to the grocery store, understand based on that profile of foods that are better for you than others. Here's a smart pet feeder that you can put your food in and you can dispense it either via an app or using Alexa when your pet needs fed. This device trains your brain during the day to actually help you learn how to improve your sleep. It was a fun exercise, but too, it is sort of visually makes you aware of things you're doing and you're thinking and you're breathing that could potentially help you relax more and hopefully get better sleep. This is a kit of robot parts that you can put together however you want. It's for kids six and up. They learn to put them together and they learn to program them so that they can you know, operate you know, in a really simple way. You're able to see and interact with in three dimensions and train for surgery or train residents or get ready for you know, surgery that you're going to do. Right now I'm looking at just the outer layer of the cerebrum, but I can click that away and I can look deeper into the brain. Well, that's a wrap. We've had three amazing days at the Nerd Circus. It's been crazy. We've seen all kinds of technology. But Stephanie, it was your first year and you're no longer a freshman. Uh, what was the thing that impressed you the most? I think how big it is and how far you really end up walking. I'm hoping that all this connected health stuff will help me manage my feet pain next year. Yeah, for sure. Things are getting really integrated. It gets better every year. We're really uh, stoked with what we saw and uh, thanks for joining us and come with us again next year.